All right, new evidence shows how controlled fires ignited by experienced firefighters can help make our forests healthier and safer. So why are prescribed burns so misunderstood? We find out tonight in the answer. These firefighters are not here to put out a fire. They're about to start one, burning almost 100 acres near Mount Shasta. Making flames. Yeah. Making good flames. Cheers, brother. With nearly 3 million acres devastated by more than 22,000 wildfires in the U.S. so far this year, these prescribed burns might seem counterintuitive. And when it's done safely and effectively, it's going to change the condition of the forest to a more resilient state in a way that protects communities and our water quality, our air quality, and the beauty of this great state. Instead of flames reaching up through the top of the trees and sparks shooting out and going onto roofs, the flames stay very low to the ground. Lori Weyburn is the president of the Pacific Forest Trust. That's a nonprofit working with communities to conserve forests and wildlife habitats. So with a prescribed fire, what you're doing is lowering the number of trees to the acre and making it safe for fire to come through as a wildfire. And frankly, it's not a matter of if it does, it's a question of when it does. But Weyburn says prescribed burns are often misunderstood, which has led to misinformation. An analysis by CBS News confirmed that footage of prescribed burns has been shared online to push the false narrative that governments start wildfires. This video of a controlled burn released by the Sacramento Wildlife Refuge Complex in February 2023 was recirculated on social media with users claiming that the real cause of climate change was being caught on camera. It's how they started the fire. It's to clean out dead trees. It's rare today, but it used to be common. The native people who lived here used fire all the time to keep the forest healthy. A study published in June by Science Direct states that prescribed burning can reduce the severity of wildfires by up to 72% compared to untreated areas. And that's the answer. Pretty interesting, huh? The California Air Resources Board estimates that around 125,000 acres of wildlands are treated with prescribed burns each year, and this number is expected to increase.